so in this video we will be seeing how to connect to the active directory and retrieve the user names uh, user info using the rest so we will be using the crate called ldap3 so copy this one and this uh, allows us to connect to the uh, global catalog and fetch the information paste this in the uh, cargo.toml file I, ha I have already pasted this one you can see here and then we need to import uh, all of these uh, structures so in that we need to make a new connection ldap con new connection and we need to specify the url so that is uh, ldap the ip address and the port number is 3268 that is the port of the global catalog we want to query and i think the ip address is correct one so let's log in and we will get a, a result enum so let's say and we can see the first one is connection if we successfully connected to the uh, active directory otherwise we are going to get an error so let's match this one match ldap ok so whatever it is we are going to return this if there is any error we are going to panic this one so let ldap con So if we got the connection, we need to bind to this using credential. So in this the example, they did not show the bind uh, and I have tried this example without uh, binding. So I got this binder. So we need to connect uh, using authentication. So let's LDAP con dot simple underscore bind. So this will take the username and the password. Uh, here it is not username, but the uh, distinguished name to the username so that is uh, cn is equals to uh, administrator and cn is equals to users and then dc is equals to text 69 and dc is equals to local so the text 69 dot local is the domain name so these undergoes into the dc and this one is the cn users and cn is administrator so there is administrator user under users uh, ou and under the text standard local and we need to say password so this is the password okay we are getting some error so ldap con as mutable so we need this one as mutable so let's Put this as mutable now we can see the errors were gone so again okay, now after binding uh, we need to uh, search for our uh, uh, we can also do this match so let's say let let res is equals to and we can see ldap result and ldap error so uh, we can directly uh, unwrap this one if there is an error this will get a panic so now after successful binding we need to search for our uh, global catalog so ldap con dot search and the first uh, argument is base so the base is dc is equals to tag 69 and dc is equals to local and the next one is scope so if you type scope and we have three scopes the base and the one level and subtree so subtree we will search recursively until the tree is ended so we are going to search recursively so uh, next one is filter so this is the uh, ldap filter normal ldap filter we use uh, within ldap search so 
it's simple let's give this a simple object class is equals to user meaning we are going to fetch all the users and the attributes so here they have shown the attributes uh, as a vector so so these attributes are like same account name uh, c and canonical name or distinguishing name so uh, we are going to say uh, let's say uh, dn distinguishing name so we want all the users with their distinguishing name so we have one search result and add up error so automatically let's uh, uh, unwrap this one if there is any error we get the panic so in this search result we have a success and this will return the vector of all the results and the ldap result so let's say let uh, sr is equals to so here we can see the result entry and ldap result so uh, say result entry and ldap result so in this vector we are going to loop over this uh, vector so for i in re and we are going to print the contents and here they have shown a search entry we need to construct this one so this will be in uh, uh, the octet notation so search entry construct of i so this okay we uh, got an error okay let's uh, debug this display and we can see the error was gone so we are creating a new connection and then we are binding to the username and the password then we are searching for all the users under textishname.local so let's go and uh, run this one so let's run this in release mode okay i think the ip address is uh, wrong or oh, it's correct sorry 110 sorry for that so now we can see we got all of these uh dns the uh, distinguishing name so uh, we have test one user care btgt and we also got the computer accounts you can see computers are also users so uh, now you can say construct dot dn to get only the dn values so you can see we got the screen output uh, of the distinguishing names so this is how you connect to the active directory using rush with the ldap3 create